is up YouTube? This is PAZC Essien here. Well, today I'm doing a new Zippo video. This is a video that I kinda forgot about, to be honest. Which is weird, because that never really happens to me. Um, yeah, I've had the Zippo for over a month, maybe even over two months by now. I definitely got it back in January. Um, with a couple of my friends, we're just hanging out in downtown, stumbled into a store, saw it, bought it, so, yeah. Anyways, this is going to be a pretty simple video because this is a fairly standard Zippo finish, alright? If you're wondering what it is, obviously you can check the title, or you can be patient and see that it is the Street Chrome model. As you can see, it's model 207, regular Street Chrome. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Bam. There it is. Le Street Chrome. So pop it out. Uh, as you can see, I've already taken all the stickers off. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, the price on this was uh, like, yeah, 15 bucks. Very cheap. Uh, and here it is. The Street Chrome. Boom. Um, it's got a pretty nice sound to it. The insert could stand a little bit of a tightening, actually. Which is something I'll probably do to it after this video. But there it is. That's the Street Chrome. Um, Basically, if you're wondering what the allure, I guess you could say, uh, of the Street Chrome finish is, is that it's, this is brand new, okay? This has never been in my pocket, this has never been set down on any sort of rough, abrasive surface, this has pretty much lived inside of its box, again, since I got it back in January. And this is what it looks like brand new, that Street Chrome, very premature worn it, not premature, it's, pre, it's been worn in from, it looks, good grief, how do I say this, okay, it looks like it's been used, uh, basically when it's brand new, if that makes sense, so, that means that you can take things, and sort of scuff it up, let's use that pocket clip, and you will never know that, yeah. I, I don't know if any scratches were formed from that, but if there were, or but if they were, you c certainly can't see them. This is my orange Kershaw leak, by the way, for those of you who are interested. So, there it is. I do have videos up on this. Oh, God. I have gotten a little bit better at one-handed closing it. <laughs> okay. So, if you're wondering when this thing was made... It was made in, good gosh, J of 2013. That's J of last year. That is weird to say, I have to admit. And the insert of this was made in J of 13. So the, inserts actu the insert actually matches with the body of the lighter. So that is pretty cool. Okay, so that little scratching demonstration I did with my knife was great and all. But I kind of want to take it a little bit of a step further. Just because, why not? So, let's do it. This is a coin jar. It at one point had $87 in it. It probably has nowhere, well, I don't know how much it has in it. I haven't really done the counting thing. Let's go ahead and unscrew the top of this. Let's refocus the camera. And let me get a handful of uh, more coins, so, is that, whoops, <laughs> I should have like a bunch of coins on my, yeah, <laughs> so far, two have fallen on the ground, none have fallen on my hand, until right before I said that, because I successfully managed to mess them in, and actually a third one fell, okay, here's just a little handful, just to add to the experience, and let's drop her in, all right, now, I would put in another, you know what, I will put in another Zippo, hang on. Here I have a broken satin chrome Zippo. You can kind of see what that looks like. Let's drop that in too. Alright. Bury them in there a little bit. Well, that doesn't really matter. Screw the lid back on. And what I'm going to do is basically...
Okay. Whew. Alrighty. Give you an idea of how much uh, that was. I did that for about five minutes straight. You probably saw it sped up. And it looks like all of my coins have lost their face value. Arr! Should not have done that. I'm such an idiot. Anyway, aside from my horrifying losses. Uh oh. <laughs> There's a coin in the mechanism. Uh, that ain't good. Well then, um, we need to get that out of there. That could cause issues. I don't know. Alright. Here we have the Street Chrome Zippo. And somewhere in here... I frankly... Oh, there it is. You can see its bottom stamp there. We have the Walmart Zippo, and I saw that it lost its lid. So I might like to find that. So... Where did that lid go? There it is. There's the lid. Alright. Now, I don't know what this is going to really look like. If I had, like, a high-polished chrome zippo, that would probably have been a little bit better. But I didn't really want to do that to a high-polished chrome zippo. But here is the uh, satin chrome zippo up close. Alright. Now... It it doesn't really look that different, but it does definitely have some scratches on it. It certainly does. I mean, you can see them. They are very faint. I mean, that is a little bit amazing, actually. Uh, this is a shockingly durable finish. Wow, I'm actually a little bit disappointed, I have to admit. But this is really because it's broken already, and I didn't really want to sacrifice another Zippo that, like, a high polish chrome one. But wow, that's um, not too bad. But what I was hoping to, what I was trying to hammer home here is, is that the street chrome looks absolutely identical. Okay, there may be new scratches on there. You couldn't tell. You wouldn't know that. So that is the beauty of the street chrome. It even smells like money now. So I bet this one does too. You sure as heck bet it does. I got snot on there. You apparently my nose is runny. That's lovely. Okay. Let's figure out what's up with that. Anyways, guys. Alright, let's get this back up where it belongs. That is going to do it for this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, feel free to like it, rate it, or liking and rating are the same thing. Um, feel free to like, like and comment, yes, and share it with your friends and stuff. Yes. Um, so, thank you all for watching. I will see you in my next video. This is in focus, right? I can't tell. Adios.